going to show you how you can use Navigraph Maps to create a flight plan for a medium distance uh, haul using IFR. IFR stands for Instrument Flight Rules. Instrument Flight Rules means that we are going to have to choose a departure route and an arrival route. The departure route uh, has the abbreviation of SID or SID, which stands for Standard Instrument Departure. And the arrival route has the abbreviation of STAR, which stands for Standard Terminal Arrival Route. Uh, when we are going to generate such a route, you are going to see that we create uh, lots of waypoints. And uh, I'm going to show how you use uh, Navigraph Maps to export the flight plan with the waypoints imported into flight, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and uh, keep and maintain all the waypoints that we generated. Now, first thing, as I said, we are going to use IFR. So uh, here I select IFR high because we are going to fly at about 30,000 feet. Now we are going to fly from uh, Seattle to Vancouver. So I click on airports here and uh, type in Seattle. We find the Seattle International Airport. Clicking on this brings us there. And we are going to add this to the route as a departure uh, airfield. Uh, it asks us to put it as the origin and we add it to the route. Now we are going to fly to Vancouver. So now I am going to type in as airport Vancouver. And here we have Vancouver. Clicking on this shows us Vancouver on the map, this purple icon. And we are going to add it to the route as a destination. Adding it draws a line from uh, Seattle to Vancouver. But as you see, there are no waypoints yet. And that's the next thing that I'm going to show how we create the SID, the standard instrument departure, and how we create the STAR, the standard arrival route. Now, at this point, we have added Seattle as a departure airport and Vancouver as a destination airport. Uh, the first thing that we are going to do is check uh, if this flight is created. So I click on flights and you can see that as origin, we have Seattle and as destination, we have Vancouver. First, let us set some options such as flight altitude. Uh, the cruising altitude, let us set this to flight level 30, which is 30,000 feet. Uh, we give a name to our flight, but it's okay to use the abbreviations of the airports. So uh, also make sure that the flight mode is instrument flight rules. And then if we go back to general, we are ready to choose our outbound route from uh, the airport of Seattle. As I said earlier, that's a SID or a standard instrument departure. Um, if we choose here a departure, you can see that we have several options to choose from. But as we are heading uh, northwards, uh, I am intended to choose one of the northward uh, bound um, SIDs. So BANGR9 seems to be a good one. I can click on it. It's selected here in the list and I can add it to the routes. But you will see that we have here this kind of loop, which is funny. Uh, we would expect to have just one line, but that's because it's showing now the two options. It, the option of uh, northwards takeoff or a southwards takeoff. Uh, so what we will have to do is choose the runway to depart from. Now, this, of course, depends on uh, the wind. We need a headwind. So if I go to the left here and I choose one of the runways that is available, there are six runways available, you will see that it shows in green uh, when the wind is optimal. So runway 16C would give us a headwind of four knots. Now, 16 means uh, 160 degrees southwards. So if I zoom in, I could find this runway on the map. Um, 16C is um, 
Well, let me just select it uh, and we will see which one it is. So 16C, I added to the route, I clicked on it, it's added to the route. And as you can see, that's actually this runway here running south. And our little loop in our SIT has disappeared. Now we have actually a clear route via the waypoints here uh, to the waypoint, the exit uh, transition point uh, B, A, N, G, R. Now the next thing we want to do is just as we chose a SIT according to IFR or International Flight Routes, we need to choose an arrival uh, route. Arrival routes bring us actually into um, some uh, trajects towards the destination airport. They bring us from a transition point to a point where we can have the final approach. I will show you how you choose an arrival. Uh, you see that we have 14 arrivals available. So if I select uh, this, you see the different arrivals. Now I think that the scene that we have here, this uh, sit bringing us to uh, waypoint PNGL, that a good arrival route would be one of these, uh, one of the yellow ones. Let's uh, take the one that starts at transition point uh, Yankee Yankee uh, Juliet. Uh, I can click on it and uh, I can see it here in the list now and add it to the routes. So uh, at this point, uh, we have almost the entire flight route uh, planned. We just need, still need to have a uh, approach. That means actually uh, selecting the runway that will bring uh, where we are going to fly through from our uh, waypoint uh, Echo MKAM. So if I look at the runways again, we want a headwind. Red is not good. Uh, nine is good. So we could take uh, eight left. So that will go about. Uh, 80 degrees uh, eastward and if we add it to the route uh, then our uh, flight plan is complete. So what we have here is a flight plan which shows us uh, all the waypoints. It starts at uh, Seattle with waypoint Robio Echo uh, November Bravo Echo. Uh, it brings us uh, through an exit point uh, BANGR. We fly through PANGL we have the transition point, which, which is the start of our star, uh, Yankee Yankee Juliet. And then this brings us to Echo M Kilo Alpha M, uh, which is the start of our approach. Now, uh, the next thing that I'm going to show is how we can export this to uh, import it in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So clicking on export, uh, we select a Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 uh, as the format. Uh, I can uh, keep uh, this name and just save it to disk. We are going to use that file that I just exported to import it in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now, loading the flight plan that we created with Navigraph Charts is quite straightforward. Here we are in Flight Simulator um, 2020 World Map. Uh, to load uh, the flight route, go to More, go to Load, click Load from this PC, and then uh, browse to the location where you saved the flight plan. Here it is, uh, it has an extension PLN, click on Open, and takes a few seconds and the flight plan is completely loaded from Seattle to Vancouver with all the waypoints available uh, as they were created in uh, the Navigraph charts flight planning. What you shouldn't do at this moment, that's still a uh, restriction. You cannot uh, select to depart from the gate because at that point all the waypoints will be recalculated. They will be approximately the same, but not exactly as we created it in Navigraph charts. So next thing that we can do is hit fly and go to the cockpit.
So now we are in the cockpit of the Airbus um, at uh, Seattle Airport. Now we want to verify if our flight plan has well loaded uh, well. The first thing that we can do is open the in-game panel of Navigraf charts. It will automatically detect that there was a flight plan uh, ready for use. So let us load the flight plan. And you can see now that the complete flight plan as we planned it earlier in Navigraf charts is here with all the waypoints of the SID, the standard instrument departure, with exit point B, A and G, R, and all the waypoints of the uh, arrival uh, from entry point, transition point, Yankee, Yankee, Juliet, via Talpi uh, to uh, Vancouver. Now to have the confirmation that the flight plan was actually also loaded into the flight computer, let us have a look at the flight plan in the flight computer. Let me head over to the MCDU. And click on flight plan. And here you will see from airport Seattle waypoints to BANGR. Scrolling through it, you can see that we have all our waypoints. Here is Yankee, Yankee Juliet, which is the entry of our star, standard arrival route in uh, Vancouver. And then we have the next waypoints all the way to uh, destination of Vancouver. Now, the nice thing is if you scroll to the waypoints, you can actually see uh, where it is on the route. Uh, I can uh, put this mode here to flight plan. Uh, and then uh, this view here, let me open it in a separate window by clicking Alt gear and clicking on it. Now we have a larger view of it. Now, if you scroll through the waypoints on the MCDU, you will see that the map moves with the waypoint that you actually have uh, active. You can go from waypoint to waypoint and see uh, the complete route. So uh, this was my video that showed how to import a uh, Navigraph chart uh, flight plan into Microsoft Flight Simulator, maintaining all the waypoints of the route. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up uh, or uh, drop a little line in the comments. Thank you for watching and enjoy flying Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020.